Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. I'm wearing my glasses this morning. It's kind of funky, I know. Uh, but hey, the, the one thing I hate about wearing my glasses isn't so much how I look with them on, although I prefer wearing my contacts. It's this, the monitor in front of me. You can see it glaring off my glasses. You usually don't see that in videos. But whatever, uh, we're giving away a $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. Head down to the description or pinned comment to enter. Uh, what I wanted to do today is actually take a look at something that was put together uh, by a user over on Reddit called I Eat Dragons. Uh, and really what this is is a look at what we now know is the upcoming release slate for Nintendo Switch. Because after that Nintendo Direct, I've seen a lot of reactions where people are saying they're disappointed. There's nothing to play. Skyward Sword HD is overpriced. Uh, and a whole bunch of other things that I think is fair criticism on the surface because we're all free to feel however we feel. But I also think there is this now ideology that we need a Switch Pro more than ever because third-party games are abandoning the platform. So, one, uh, it's not true. In fact, I can show you some sales data in another video if you would like to see how untrue that is. But I actually want to look at the upcoming slate of Nintendo Switch games. So let's do that, shall we? So here you'll see on screen right now a bunch of uh, a bunch of games here all the way out through July because that's honestly how far we know. And then including August slash summertime because some of these are just announced for summer. In January, obviously, we saw Scott Pilgrim. We saw Hitman. Uh, and then that RE game, uh, it looks like it was J Japan only in February, uh, which, by the way, is our current month, and all of these games aren't even out yet. I mean, look at that lineup. I mean, Little Nightmares 2, which has debuted very well in Japan. Uh, Persona 5 Strikers, Bravely Default 2, it's not here yet. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, uh, you know, Revenants, etc., etc. Like, that's, that's a really quality February. But it gets even better when you look at March. Apex Legends, Crash Bandicoot 4, Story of Seasons, Balan Wonderland, or you know, for those that forgot that game even exists. Harvest Moon, which I know it's not the original developing team, but still, it's a game that's coming. We've got Plants for Zombies, Tales from the Borderlands, and hey, Monster Hunter Rise. Obviously, a massive deal there. Next up in April, we have Trails of Cold Steel 5. And then, uh, was that Solo Frontier and New Pokemon Snap? I know, it sounds like three games. There's more than three games coming out that month, but those are kind of the big ones. And I feel like that's what this list is, because there's a whole bunch of indie games they could talk about. But this is the, uh, I guess, games Nintendo's kind of pushing. In May, okay, May is the month where right now, uh, we're not really sure if there's going to be a massive game coming out in May, but we know about Knockout City. We know about the, the Famicom Detective Club games that are finally coming over. Uh, man, those things were buried in Nintendo's history. Uh, Miitopia, which is probably what Nintendo's considering the big game for May. And then Worlds and Club. In June, Legend of Mana, Ninja Master Collection. Oh, and look at that, Mario Golf Super Rush. Pretty good there. July, The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, HD. Probably going to sell past what the Wii version did. For August or the rest of summer, so could be June, July, August, September, oh, somewhere in there, we have No More Heroes 3, big game, Outer Wilds, Fall Guys, you know, Samurai Warriors 5, etc. Like, this is actually a really really good list of games i mean of this list here just going back through it i'm going to be picking up really default 2 this month it's just going to happen i don't know if it's going to happen right on launch but i really enjoyed octopath traveler obviously we know about a new octopath traveler game coming uh but Bravely Default 2 is something that's releasing really soon, and I can't wait to actually play it. Not just a demo, but the actual full game. So I'm really excited about that one. Uh, I just, I, I really want to go hands-on and dive into some old-school RPG goodness. Uh, I already have Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, so we can kind of skip over that one. Not really interested in Persona 5 Strikers. Uh, in March, I am going to be getting Apex Legends on Switch. Maybe you don't care about that, but I do. I care about Apex Legends. I think, 
you know, some people are kind of sick of some of these games. You know, when you, when you see the, the, the Apex Legends of the world or the Fortnites and all that. I understand. But honestly, I think they provide a lot of great entertainment. So I'm really, really looking forward to Apex Legends. Then, Monster Hunter Rise is coming out that month. Of course I'm picking up Monster Hunter Rise. I don't know if I'm going to sink as many hours into it as I liked, but I really enjoyed the demo. So why the hell would I not pick up Monster Hunter Rise? I guess that's the better question. Then you look at other games. I'll consider Balan Wonder, Wonder World, Wonderland. Like I, I've seen some people, uh, some early impressions weren't too favorable, but maybe the final release is a little better. Uh, I'm unsure on Crash Bandicoot 4 right now. That's another game I'm leaning towards probably buying, but I'm just not quite sure yet. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 obviously didn't perform very well on the other platforms. Doesn't mean it's a bad game. Uh, so we'll see. I, I, I'm kind of in a personal debate with that. Maybe you guys will end up convincing me to pick it up. April, all about new Pokemon Snap for me. Been waiting for Pokemon Snap basically forever. I'm, I'm so excited for that one. Uh, I, I just I don't really want to get into it too much because I feel like we're going to have a lot to talk about with it next week. Uh, but, yeah, I'm really excited about that. In May, Metopia. I literally am picking up Metopia. Just because it's crazy, it's wacky, it's zany, and it's exactly the weird crap I expect Nintendo to do. And I'm curious why this game needed to come back off the strangeness of the original release on 3DS. I'm, I'm very curious about that. So, yes. Yes. Um, next up... Uh, yeah, Mario Golf Super Rush and Legend of Mana. Uh, we'll start with Legend of Mana. I'm a huge Mana series fan. Secret of Mana is my second favorite game of all time. Legend of Mana being here, super stoked for it. Uh, can't wait to actually go dive back into uh, some old school childhood memories. I, I'm super excited about that. Don't really care about Ninja Gaiden too much, but Mario Golf Super Rush. What can be said here? Mario Golf is everything I want. Mario Golf to be over like the last 20 years. So they have an RPG single player mode. Again, we don't know if the mode's any good. So there's still that. And I need to wait and actually play it to determine. I'll probably end up doing some impressions of it. But still, Mario Golf Super Rush is a thing uh, that I'm, I'm stoked for. And that dash mode, man. That dash mode looks sick. Oh, and by the way, you know, a, a little bit of a spoiler here. It appears that Nintendo accidentally like leaked that you know the bomb bomb guy is going to be playable uh you know the boss from the uh mario 64 he's going to be a playable character uh so nintendo accidentally leaked that and then updated that that's something i was going to make a video on but that, that that's it that's the story there you go you have it congratulations um and then obviously skyward sword hd what else is there to say skyward sword hd is like everything i could ever want from a game uh Outside of the fact that 60 bucks, big debate over 60 bucks. Gonna get into that a little later. I have a separate video I'm gonna do on Zelda games this year because, man, there's actually quite a lot of news around the Zelda games coming this year. And Nintendo, it, that's just, we'll, we'll get into that in a, in a video later today. Uh, and then, obviously, for August slash summer, I'm picking up Fall Guys. I have yet to play Fall Guys. I realize it's no longer super, super popular and like the boat has sailed. Uh, I don't even, I, I think the boat is starting to sail on Among Us too, isn't it? I feel like people are starting to move on to a different indie multiplayer game now. But hey, uh, that's a game that I'll probably try. It'll probably have like a little peak during its launch week on Switch, and then we'll see if it continues after that. Uh, no More Heroes 3 is definitely a game I'm considering. I played the first two, uh, played a little bit of Travis Strikes Again. I, I, I'm not like a massive fan of the No More Heroes series, but I do see its appeal and it is something that is exclusive on Switch. So just on that note, like there's part of me that wants to own every exclusive game on Switch just because I'm a Nintendo enthusiast, I suppose. You can call me a fanboy if you want. I, I'm super critical of Nintendo all the time. But it is what it is. Uh, that's that. I mean, that's a lot of games that I'm planning to pick up over. if you think over like the next six, seven months. That's a, that's a lot of games. So, hey, that's the lineup for Switch. What I plan to buy. You guys go down to the comments and click clack away. And let me know what on this list are you planning to buy. And are there games not on this list. That are already announced for Switch coming in the next six months. That you plan to buy. Uh, because right now my wallet's looking pretty thin. And that's before considering any giveaways I might be doing along the way. Including that $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. Description. Pin comment. Um, enter man. 
can't, can't wait for one of you guys to be able to get that. All right, folks. Uh, also, uh, a side note. It's been a struggle. But I am this close to obtaining a PlayStation 5 for the channel. I have had a PlayStation 5 in my shopping cart to check out both in person at Target and also like, not like I didn't go in person, but like you, you go online and then do an online pickup in person. And also on the PlayStation Direct. And both times before I could get my card information in because I had a snafu with having to move some money around, which I'm going to make sure is not a problem moving forward. I was unable to get it, but I will. We will have a PlayStation 5 on this channel, and I'll be able to do an impression video, a breakdown, a teardown, imp uh, comparison, my thoughts and honest opinions, and obviously then we can start diving into some PlayStation games on this channel. Uh, I, I can't wait to do that. As much as I, guys, I'm a Nintendo guy. I'll always be a Nintendo guy. This channel will always have Nintendo in its name until Nintendo makes us not have it in, in our name. But we technically cover everything uh, that interests me. And I am highly interested in everything going on. The only reason you guys haven't been hearing much about the Xbox Series X is because there hasn't, really hasn't been a lot happening that I'm interested in on that platform yet. All right, folks. Catch you guys in the next video.